Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and I am here with the absolutely amazing Cairo. Yes. <laughs> How you doing today, man? That's good. You like the Matrix? Kind of. Kind of? Maybe. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, it came out a little bit before your time. Just, just a teeny tiny bit. So did you hear they're making a video game? They are. It's called The Matrix Awakens, and it's done with a video game engine that everybody is really excited about called the Unreal Engine. So they decided that they were going to put their example of what this video game and what this engine can do for the PlayStation 5. Yes. So this is going to be pretty funny because you get to play video games. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to play it first. So I'm going to hand the stitch over to you, and then we'll go from there. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscription button, click the bell icon so that you get up-to-date notifications anytime something new like this drops, man. You could be in the know. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get to The Matrix Awakens, the Unreal Engine 5 experience. All right, so you can see my screen over here, the little PlayStation 5 intro. Uh, I'll have my headphones on. <laughs> Kyra will be able to hear from the monitor, but as soon as we get done, we'll switch up and then he'll be able to get like the full-blown audio experience. All right. You do know who Neo is, right? Yeah, he's, uh, he's Keanu Reeves. There we go. Sometimes that's all you need to know is just he's Keanu Reeves, right? All right. Let's see. Let's get out of here. The Matrix Awakens. All right. Let's see what we're talking about. original tones in there the unreal engine 5 they actually use this they actually use this engine for uh movies too as well like so didn't they use it for like the Mandalorian and stuff yeah yeah exactly <laughs> this <is> quite sharp <laughs> all right so i'm about to enter let me go to settings first real quick okay subtitles let's keep the subtitles on Invert access, of course, because I'm an OG. <laughs> and let's enter. Into the matrix. I'm actually a little bit excited. There was an old Matrix video game that came out in like the, in like the early 2000s, and it was just okay. So we're about due for some new Matrix and stuff. Have you seen the original Matrix? I think so. Think so? Hi, oh, wow. I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. Wake up, but Neo. computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we Wow, have. that does look really good. Is that really built. the Unreal Engine, or is that really him, I wonder? I us with him. questions. About why we want to choose this. Yeah, there's that. no way that's the computer. Why we want to make X instead of Y. Where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define Oh, real? young Lawrence Fishburne. For instance, I'm not even Wait sure a minute. why I'm here. Now that... I is waking definitely up thinking that I'm a part of the computer here. That yeah. it was important for me to ask people, how do we know what is real? Wait a minute. Is that? No, that is a part of the game. Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema. Which Wait a minute. Like bullet time. Yo, Back that then, is really, that's the, com the that's the game. Might take yeah. cinema narrative. In an industry that's where I have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could <laughs> become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix Okay, now films. she does look a little bit more ago, like the computer. we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We That's going to be the future of movie making to me. In a completely digital world. And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? I have to admit, I'm really impressed. What just happened? Yeah, this is what they wanted. They said they were fine with your theoretical mumbo jumbo, but 
They needed some sexy action. Who said? The marketing people. Marketing? I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. <laughs> Welcome to the Matrix. <laughs> You play first. Really? You feel good, yeah, man. Like riding a bike, they say. You know my invert is in there. This is version of us. Me too. <clears throat> I miss this version of us. Look who just pops up back there. Sorry, I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. You know about this? Yeah. It's all it's supposed to be a little unreal. Oh, you saw what they did there. <laughs> <laughs> But whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. See you soon. Oh, Neo just flies away because he's Neo, of course. He's supposed to just fly away. So, what now? Haven't you ever watched a movie before? Shoot the tires. Oh, you might have to pause it. Say no more. Pause it. Oh. I'm only saying so that you can switch up your inverse. Oh, this looks really good. I'm glad you're gonna play so I can really pay attention. Look at the details. Wow. Uh oh, agent. I mean, even the even the glass sliding around in the back. Is cool. Nice. How's the play? <laughs> That's pretty basic, right? Yeah. <laughs> They're on the car. Lose the roof. My pleasure. Whoa. Sorry, boys. Of course they have a helicopter. <laughs> Guys, like, you know what? Grand Theft Auto 6 better look like this. You boys are gonna get a kick out of this. Oh, the big boy. We got the big gun. Is the controller shaking? It is? Oh, nice. Caught that agent just when he jumped too. Wow, look how great the gun looks. Yeah. I can't lie, this is kind of going above my expectations. And I'm not even playing. <laughs> what are you doing? Time to blow this box down. Bless you. Bless you! Oh, go ahead, Trinity. Oh, go, 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 go! Yes! Did you get it? <laughs> oh, the new bullet time! Hey! Well, that was nice. I mean, I'm a clap and I didn't even play. That was, that was, that was something. <laughs>
Okay, let me see what's next. Maybe that, that might be it. I think that's it. I think it's just like a tech demo. Oh, mass AI. Shows you how everything works. Okay, let's see what this does. Mass AI visualization, automatic open world streaming. So all of this kind of does its own thing within within the game. Luma, dynamic global illumination and reflections, toggle day and night. Wow, real processor, real base object placement. You can just switch, just look how easily and quickly that is from like from night to day. Niagara particle system. Nanite virtual geometry, toggle nanite visualization. So those are all of the polygons, huh? Chaos, physical and destructive system. So, so all of these are destructible environments, huh? Toggle displayed rendered pixels, high display resolution. Oh, that's in the high display. Ah, oh, wow. Meta sounds procedural. Are you gonna hear some of it? Go ahead. Toggle displayed rendered pixels. Look at that. You know, and this isn't even a 4K television that we're looking at this on. This is like a 2K television. And I'm sure the feed that you're going to get is probably going to be like 1080p. Oh, this is cool. Can I walk through? Oh, wow. We get to walk through the world? What's that side say? Yo, this is nuts. Icons on the map lead you to plaques like this. One of these plaques you can find facts about the city and technology used to create it. Oh, I could just fly. R1 is the sprint. Oh, that's fly as in like just move around the thing. Oh, that's cool. Okay, altitude up and down. Wow. Speed up. This is crazy. Okay, let's go back and walk again. No, I'm like, when I was saying earlier, like I need this to be Grand Theft Auto 6. I'm just looking at the details on people's faces. This is crazy. Let's fly again. Let's take a look. Can you drive cars? I'd imagine so. Let's try. Let me let me just take a look at this building real quick and then let's go try to drive a car. Super impressive. Let's see. Let's uh this one. I mean, and this is kind of like, they're probably still working on this too. You know, this probably isn't the finished product. Oh, I can't drive. Oh, nice. Got a nice car too. Let's go. Whoa, okay. I'm taking a lot of use of the sticks, but you know, we're straight. All right, there we go. Nice. Handbrake. Uh, oh, I was trying to. Some donuts. Oh. I wonder what the collision effects are like. Let's find out. Oh! What happened? <laughs> the people who phased out of the Matrix. Ah! Oh, I'm into stuck. The no, you got stuck on the pool. That's right, though. Why is that bird floating? <laughs> Never mind, I'm oh. flying now. <laughs> Maybe it was a, uh, a glitch in the matrix. Ah, uh, okay, okay. There you go. If anything weird happens, just blame the glitch in the matrix. That's exactly what I'm doing. Ooh, here we got another, another sports car. All right, let's try this one. Go full speed into a car. <laughs> That's the goal. Hold on. Oh, not that car. Okay, they got to work on the steering. It's a little it's a little sensitive. This, this isn't Forza, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and it's certainly not GTA. All right. Something. Yeah, the collision's okay. Well, you kind of just went under the car. A little bit. Let me see. Can you see the damage? Ooh, the damage looks kind of good, though. Where did your friend go? Your friend just came online. Just came online. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was super meta. <laughs> Where did my friend go? Hey, look, is, is that the Fortnite llama? It is the Fortnite llama. Why is it the Fortnite llama? Here? Because I think Fortnite uses the Unreal, Unreal Engine as well. Go to uh, menus. Ooh, there's a map. 
Oh, that's cool. I guess there's certain things like benchmarks that we can go to. Maybe the city explore running. Uh, the matrix filter is on. Turn down the crowd. Huh. That is cool. Photo mode. There's a drone mode. There's walking. There's driving. Okay. What's it look like without the matrix filter? You could change the rotation of the sun. Huh. Everything's a lot more vibrant. Oh, that is way more vibrant. Huh. Nice find. Yeah. Little guy. I like her hair. Alright, I want to run into something. This looks like something that could like tear something up. I bet if you took the uh, crowd out. Right. I'm just saying, you get ready. See, he's definitely not Forza, right? It's a little wonky. Like, do a handbrake turn. Oh! <laughs> that was amazing. Did it, did it damage my car at all? Yeah, look, look, your finger, fenders all swinging. Yeah, but look how realistic that damage looks, though, as compared to like GTA's damage. And GTA does a really good job with their damage, by the way. But. All right, so we got to check out the Matrix Awakening with the Unreal 5 engine. Now, I think they're going to be using some of this technology within the movie, and of course, they're going to be using it. In video games as well. What do you what do you, what are your impressions so far? It looks good. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. It looks good. It looks good. Sometimes that's all that matters. Yeah, the mechanics are a little clunky. Walking is a little, you know, walking. You can't really run. Uh, the collision looks cool. Um, you're kind of limited in what you can do, but this is more or less just like a. Uh, just an example of how pretty things can be more so than, than gameplay mechanics. I think yeah, that's it's like it's, it's a tech demo. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's a you heard it first. It's a tech demo. This does make me excited about the future. I've said this a million times already within the playthrough that Grand Theft Auto now has a bar that it has to beat or at least meet. Um, but then the great thing about you know Grand Theft Auto is that it has all of the things already ironed out regarding gameplay, which we just said before it doesn't really matter because this is this is a tech demo. Um, if you want to just be impressed with how things look, I absolutely recommend it. If you're trying to get like a real gaming experience out of it, this ain't that. But also, if you want to get an example of what's what could be possible regarding um, what, what Kerry Moss was saying earlier. Um, making replications of the same person over and over again and being able to move those pieces around and make your playground a lot more fun using this technology I mean, I think you are going to be happily surprised because it is pretty I mean, Look at this right here like there's nothing here and then we can just easily just go back and put in all the crowd And all of the traffic It's just there. It just works. Look at that. Look how easily that is. It's a big, vibrant city where everybody's just kind of like, you know, walking around, kind of just doing their thing, like whatever. All right. Well, that is gonna. Well, that is going to wrap up this little testing review live demonstration. Hope you had fun kicking it with uh, me and Cairo. You have fun. Yes. Hey, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that subscription button and click the bell icon so that you can get up-to-date notifications. Anytime we have new, amazing, cool little things to review, such as these tech demos, games, reviews, trailers, and things like that. Hey, it's your boy Sintel with the Intel. And, and I'm Cairo. <laughs> the... Cairo in the know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, well, I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, we out of here. Peace out.